Erica, that closed door meeting between board board members and district attorneys is happening right now here at Sunset Ridge School, where we're told they're expected to discuss how David Garcia Espinal got a job at this school to begin with. David Garcia Espinal has a record, a record that should have prevented him from walking through these doors. We know a background check that was done by outside vendors failed to flag a felony conviction for identity fraud in 2012, but it missed these too. An incident in 2010 when he was found taking pictures of women going to the bathroom in a Northbrook movie theater. And again in 2012 when he admitted to Glenview police he'd entered the women's restroom at least twice to masturbate. The board is set to review the background check process here tonight, but with a solid gap between Garcia Espinal's crimes on record 2013 to last month, is there a chance the bathroom incident discovered isn't the first of its kind? We brought the latest to criminologist and Loyola professor Arthur Legurio. The only way this behavior stops is if a person is incapacitated, either locked up in jail or prison or receives in-depth therapy. He calls the behavior compulsive and says it's not likely Garcia Espinal was on the straight and narrow between his reported crimes and what he's accused of here. So if we don't know about such behaviors during a period of time, it's likely that this person engaged in them surreptitiously, wasn't arrested, wasn't observed, wasn't caught. Now again, this is a closed door meeting happening now at Sunset Ridge School, but there is a public comment expected to happen here. And while we're told that some parents are pushing others to stay quiet, we will be here and continue to gather the very latest and update this story. Reporting live in Northfield, I'm Tara Molina, CBS 2 News. Erica? Tara, thank you.